Welcome to PBO News, where the real story comes first. I'm Sydney Bible. I'm St. Valdez. Thank, Thank you, you for tuning, tuning in. in. Today, we have a special interview. He's a local hero from our campus. He's a student's favorite teacher, James Hamrick. Good afternoon. I'm Alexandra, here with James Hamrick. Mr. Hamrick, please introduce yourself and tell us what you teach. James Hamrick, Insight and Holmes High School. I teach upper-level math. What influenced you to become a teacher? Uh, I'll try to make the answer short. Uh, it was so I knew I would be a math teacher probably when I was uh, about a sophomore in high school. Um, I was lucky enough to have a teacher when I was in geometry um, that uh, allowed allowed me kind of the freedom to do math the way I saw it and not necessarily the way he saw it or the way he taught it. Um, and so. Once, once I kind of figured that out, and there was a much longer process that I won't get into, but once I figured out that math could be done in different ways, um, it was uh, it was like an epiphany, and 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 I and I saw like not to kind of totally nerd out, but I saw like the beauty of mathematics, and I and I knew I wanted to do that, and I I just I enjoy sharing the love of mathematics and the beauty of that. Is that who inspired you to pursue teaching? Uh, he was certainly one of them. Uh, his name was Mr. Worrell, back in Virginia. He's a, he was he was an old man when I had him as a teacher, so he's probably not with us anymore. Uh, but he was certainly the one that uh, inspired my love of mathematics. What advice would you give to future educators? Don't do it because you want to get summers off. <laughs> that's that's that that's what not to do, right? Um, it's, but it's, but have, have a passion for it. Have, have a passion not only for wanting to work with students of whatever age you want to go into, uh, but have a passion for the subject. Students at Holmes High School have recognized you picking up trash during their lunch periods. What motivated you to start doing that? Why not? I'm out there. I'm, and am I going to stand there and just sit there and twiddle my thumbs for 15 minutes? I'm not going to be productive. And that's honestly my best answer. Like, it's, um, it's, I'm out of, I, fifth lunch, and I do it for any lunch for that matter, but like, it's, make use of time. You know, be, be, I, I am all about being efficient with time, and if I'm out there and I have the means to pick up a couple things and do a little bit of recycling and save a little corner of my earth, then why wouldn't I do it? That is all of our questions. Thank you, Mr. Hamrick, for your time. Thank you, Alex. And thank you again, Mr. Hamrick, for this exclusive interview. Coming up next, we have Matthew with the weather after this commercial break. Welcome back to PBO News. I am Matthew Kuttner, here with the weekly weather forecast. Starting with Monday on Christmas Day, we can expect a partly cloudy day with a high of 57 in the afternoon, dropping to a 45 at night. We should leave out some hot chocolate and keep those cookies warm for Santa. As we approach Tuesday, we will see more clouds up in the sky, a high of 59 and a low of 43. Don't forget your sweaters. Looking ahead to Wednesday, Expect some more passing clouds. The temperature is forecasted to reach 68 in the day and drop to a 46 at night. Now let's talk about Thursday. We're anticipating clear skies and temperatures reaching 63 during the day and 43 at night. Wrapping up this week with Friday, the weather is expected to give us another sunny day hitting 63 in the day and 39 at night. And that wraps up our quick weekly weather forecast. Have a fantastic week. Enjoy yourself some hot chocolate to keep yourself warm. Back to you, Sage Valdez. Thank you, Matthew, for the weather forecast this week. Stay tuned for the 9 o'clock news later this evening where we do a live tour of the downtown San Antonio lights. See you at 9!